All right, what's up guys? How's it going? Mark Room 408. We got a special delivery from Bull Light. So we got some fresh rims that we're going to mount these studded tires on. So we got them studded a few weeks ago and then we had a bit of an issue. So we've got it all sorted. We got our rims now and I can't wait to test these on the ice before the spring hits. So let's do the unboxing. First, you'll need a box cutter. You'll also need a half inch impact and a torque wrench. So. Let's get started. Ooh, 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 look at these things. So this is the, the beadlock ring that goes on the outside. Get here. And then we got our rim. So if you're new to ATVing or don't know much about rims, beadlocks basically pinch the bead on the edge there. So if you come around the corner real fast and you're not running high pressure, the tire won't pop off the rim. So they are a little more expensive, but they're definitely worth it. I've been running beadlocks since I started ATV racing. And then now since I've been doing side-by-sides, I only run beadlocks because I don't want my tire to fall off. So yeah, basically to get started, like I said, you'll need your box cutter. You'll need the half inch impact. Um, preferably, you should torque these on. I usually tighten them with the impact first and then I torque them or else it'll take you all day. So yeah, here's our torque wrench. Let's start installing some bolts and get these tires on. Unboxing complete. These are some sexy rims. Oh dear. So obviously nothing's attached yet. We're gonna get these these tires. These are 30s, so I usually run 32s, but uh for studded, I'm gonna run 30s just so they don't rub. Obviously, I don't want the bolts rubbing, I'll rip my plastic apart. So yeah, and then basically these are the caps. These just pop on. I know they are gonna be switching to uh bolt on soon. But uh, yeah, so they just pop on there. Boom, that's it. All right, let's get these tires mounted. Easy enough, all mounted in there. So best way to do it, use a bit of soapy water, rub it around the edge of the tire on the bead and then rub it around the edge of the rim. And then I just boot stop them in there. Just slide right in. I'm out of breath. Whew. All right, let's get these uh, rings put on then we'll put some, uh, some air in them. birds here gotta go get the razor fixed for the hundredth time check out his new trailer and then hit some ice later let's do it i right, swung by the shop to pop him up we got razor blade here he cut his beard off i know i feel like i'm 10 years younger I'm like, where's my face <laughs> so the best way to do this put water on the back obviously just put some water and or soap and then we just have it stacked on a battery and an old ATV rim. Then you put the air on, push the edges down, and usually it seals if it doesn't fall off our battery I know, mount. Weird. I should build it like a stand so it doesn't move. I mean, we shouldn't be changing tires as often as we do, but we do. We All right. For, well, move for a while though, grab, the size of rims though. Yeah, true. Grab the air there and let's see. So we just put our weight on the edges, bend the wall down. Done. Oh yeah. And just like that, she'll seal right up. You want to stand it up? And... Yeah, sure. Ah. So yeah, that's just our ATV rim. Yeah. So it hasn't popped on yet, but it is sealing. All right, we'll do the other three and we'll get back to the uh, house and 
Get them mounted. All right, are they gonna grip? Oh yeah, these tires. Like we didn't usually put three, four steps per lug, but we still want it, you know, to be able to let it dance, right? But yeah, just like drag it on the ice. Oh, oh she's Look gonna grip. Just scratch him up. And she's gonna grip good. Yeah, like it's gonna dig right down so fast. So right and, on. Uh, I don't hear any pin leaks in any of them. So no, we yeah. haven't tested them, but yeah, they should we'll be good. Yeah, we'll figure it out once it's tested, and if not, we'll just put tubes in them. But I think they'll be fine. You know, as long as they hold air for a day. We're good. One film shoot, I'm happy. <laughs> look at these rims. I love the rims, man. Yeah, they look neat, eh? The color is sweet. We're going to get some different rings, too, so we'll swap out rings now and again as well. Also, they have different colors. Nice. Yeah, yeah, they have, uh, I think, six different colors. So. Sweet. But I think the red looks the best. Looks so. great. Yeah. Goes with everything. Yeah. All right, let's uh, we'll get them mounted and head out. All right. Rims and tires are mounted. Now i got to go rescue Zan. charge you a minutely rate. Got to charge you a minutely rate for this thing. All right. Ready for a quick tug? You want to go backwards? Sure. All right. Winch away. Give her a tug. Let's get that Warren winch working good. Come on, muscles. It's on your face. dealership get this thing fixed for the 90,000th time. Rule number one, Jay, go buy a Polaris. Yeah. <laughs> oh, and Bukert's here too. Oh, yeah. That's up. We picked him up on the way. And we're also magic. Same goes. You gotta get the work hours in today. <laughs> you just washed yours. <laughs> there is six times. You gotta wash the bag of sand each time. I haven't washed mine once. I got an original stank on this. I got some freshy car boots though. All right, so apparently the bearing and the clutch went, the idle bearing or something, so it's very hard to shift. Once it's in gear, it's fine, but also they haven't put any salt down anywhere. The hazard out here. This thing is clean, holy. Gotta get those rims on this thing. Get the bowl lights on here. It's gonna go on the other seat. Oh yeah, the freshie. Yeah, you'll see soon. All right, back this thing off. Oh, I got like a damn skating rink here. <laughs> Sounds like it shifted no problem, Jay. Right there, it did. Oh yeah. Yeah, that's what she said. Look how hard I'm pulling on this. Look at this. Give her a yank. That's about how hard I pull on it. <laughs> All right, let's burn this thing and get out of here. Can you turn the trailer around there, Justin? Oh, it was a good idea over there, and then we got over here, and it's all slushy. <laughs> Move her over a little bit. <laughs> Perfect. Okay, let's roll. Quick pit stop. Yep. Oh, <laughs> for Brad. Yeah, <laughs> for Brad. Look at this thing, Jay. This is the most random video we've done. We're at freaking Krabby's, we're at the dealership, we're mounting tires. Anyways, this is Jay's new trailer. 
and his castle jacket that he's gonna burn. Bring in the sign first. And then How many burn. feet is this? Twenty eight. This is twenty six feet. Twenty six. Four feet of nose up here. So it's twenty six to here or here. So twenty six right to the door here. Oh, okay. Right here, yeah, we could squeeze a few in here. A couple bunk beds. Man. Right, Justin? Yeah, your machine's about eleven feet. Eleven, yeah. Jay's is probably four. You're so reflective, Jay. Eight. Not too bad. Oh, so well, he went with more lights, so eh? We added way more lights. Yeah, just in case we're having a dance party in oh, here. Man. Oh, oh, hello. Yeah. Lights work. Well, that's nice and bright. Yeah, that's bright enough. We're going to have to put a bug zapper in here. New trailer, I guess, to come up lights, eh? The new trailer, I guess, to come up lights, eh? Check out Remar trailers. Get yourself a custom built trailer. <laughs> This thing is mean. I love the handles too. Or the latches. Those are nice latches. Nice. All right. Well, should we go see if your uh, Polaris is ready for the scrapyard? And then we'll go hit some ice with the studded tires. You better be. You better be ready to lose my All right. Day ended up being a little longer than we thought, but that's okay. We're losing light, but I'm not giving up. I'm gonna do a quick ice rip. The uh, horse arena over there is full of ice, so Trudge is gonna come give me a hand. I'm just gonna swap these tires out quick. So the bull lights on with the studs. Oh man, they're still full of air. They haven't leaked yet, so let's check them out. See if we can do this. <laughs> Finally, we got Trudge here. Yeah. He's got his crabbing gloves. Yeah, have the crab yeah we're going crabbing later. Yeah. <laughs> a couple crabby patties. Oh, look at this. All right, let's test her out.
crazy. It's mind blowing. I've gone from zero traction all winter to like, I feel like I'm on pavement. I know. <laughs> I am surprised. And 30 inches is perfect because I usually run 32s and when you're turning, and you hit a bump, they do rub, so it's nice knowing that these aren't gonna rub, so. Uh, huge thank you to Bull Light Rims. Absolutely impressed with the rims and the tires. I'm so glad we studded them and I got an extra pair. So I think we're gonna go out again tomorrow, see if we can find like an actual huge iced up area that we can actually rip and, you know, get some full speed going, so. Thank you guys again, thank you for watching. If you have any suggestions, and uh, go to PV Mart or TSC or Home Hardware. This cost me, I think, 50 bucks to do instead of $700 studs. So, thank you guys again. We'll see you later.